Okay, so we're gonna go out, we're gonna hit up a few thrifting stores and we're going to see what we can find today. Uh, I'm looking for video games, I'm looking for accessories, controllers, um, yeah, pretty much everything. All right, we're checking out one of my local thrift stores. Just looking to see what kind of stuff they might have here. Let's see what we have for games. Not seeing much. Book light. 14.99. Okay, guys, so we only got one game in there. Uh, basically, Dance Dance Revolution Extreme. It was 3.99. Disc is in good condition. Uh, complete in box. Other than that, the only other thing we got, um, Lego. It was uh, $4.99. I'm constantly getting Lego, and this is for my daughter. She's always getting left out, so. <laughs> All right, on to the next. Okay, so just found these four. And it looks like price on these. $7.99 for that one. I believe for this Aerosmith one, we're looking at $7.99. The other Guitar Hero one is $7.99. And then we got this sweet one. This is pretty cool. And this one here is $9.99. So yeah, I think we're picking these up today. Unfortunately, none of them have their uh, respective dongles. But because of that, I got them to see if they could drop the price and they were able to drop it down to uh, $4.99, 19 for the electronics, so 27 for those. And then I got some boots here for my, my son, some Columbias. They're only $7.99. I don't think that's a bad deal. So that's stop number two. Okay, so nothing in the case, but we're gonna go, we're gonna check out the media section over here, close to the toys, and we'll see if we find something there. Shushing for Redemption, that's a good one. Dragon Age. Oh man. <laughs> How awesome are these? You can put these in here your shoes and then you can walk around and it makes like footprints like dinosaurs. Guys, comment down below. What is this used for? Is this a makeup box or something? What do they want? Okay guys, we have one more Valley Village, and then we're going to call it a day. 
Let's see what we find inside, shall we? Same thing I'm doing. Luckily, I got to the sections I needed to before. Okay, so here we go. We've got some puzzles. The only reason why I check out areas like the gaming section for puzzles is sometimes you come across. I wonder if that's complete. How much is that? Where's my tag? There's no tag. I'm hoping it's $1.99. That would be nice. My, my boys are huge in the dog man. It would be fun to have this. I don't know about you guys. I love these things. Being able to just play with them. I am truly just a big kid. Okay, so it's real good. They want $14 for them. Now we're getting into the really young kids. Oh my god, the wall behind me. There's so much stuff. <laughs> so this is definitely a much bigger value village, which is nice. Uh, see some Skylanders. Okay. So that's cool. I like that one. Alright, folks. So, you may see that I have found a few little things here. We're going to get those and then we'll talk about them after. So we got a Wii. Mostly complete, no game. For 25. We've got a Wii Fit Plus board. That's going to be 10. It's got the uh, inserts and everything. We got some Skylanders and some Dogmen. I can't believe we found all that stuff. <laughs> so you can see it back there. We'll see it more when I, I get home, but uh, complete in box, except for one game, which I can easily get my hands on. Uh, Wii, white Wii with the box, all the slide inserts, the manuals, 25 bucks. Um, we got a Wii balance board, Wii plus balance board. Uh, that was 10 bucks. Um, and then we got a bunch of Skylander Imaginators. Uh, average cost on those is anywhere between, say, 15 or more. Um, so I got one to complete to go towards my current collection. But the other ones, like, I'll easily list those and uh, we should be able to get a return on those. They were five bucks and they're valued easily over 12 bucks each. One more stop and then we'll call it a day. All right, so we're going to head over to the media section. This place tends to get pretty picked over. Except this time. Okay, I have a few games. We're going to check these out. See what we can find out. I'll let you guys know what I get. Okay, that didn't work out. None of those are really worth anything. And then for electronics, what do we got here? Oh, there's a Pac-Man back there. Got five bucks for it. Ms. Pac-Man. Oh, is this a multi one? So we got Racing, Galaga, something, Mappy, and Ms. Pac-Man. Five bucks. You know what? We're gonna take it. And then I think we found guys. What is it today? I 
All right, guess I'm going back to find that thing. Stand? I don't think the Wii we have has a stand. <laughs> Okay. So guys, we're looking at getting this stuff. We're while looking at getting this stuff. Came across these guys. Just kind of trying to figure out if they're worth anything. Nike Air Jordans. Nike somethings. I don't know what these Nike somethings as well. Let's see if we can. No bell. Oh. Ask a friend and we'll find it. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we've gotten so far today. We'll get home, we'll lay it all out, and we'll see what we got. So this is what we picked up yesterday. We went to a few different <clears throat> thrift stores, a couple Goodwills. We went to some Value Village. We did go into a couple pawn shops, but they didn't. Uh, they didn't end up having a ton that I was looking for. As you'll see here, we got a Wii complete in box only missing the game but that's not hard to come by and we have the Wii Fit Plus it too is missing the game but the uh, the original board that was in there uh, the guy he I showed him that it was still had batteries in it and it was corroded um, guys if you ever get a chance don't store batteries in your controllers especially Wii remotes um, the guitars, the Wii balance boards, all that type of stuff. They, uh, they'll explode over time. Uh, we've got this Aerosmith, um, Guitar Hero guitar, uh, Dance Dance Extreme. We got that Skylanders portal, Trap Team. Uh, the, I am thinking it's a complete Lego set. It was like five bucks. We got this Miss Pac-Man like three to five in one game, plug and play. Uh, <clears throat> we have the stand to go with the uh, the Wii. So now that is, okay, I believe, complete. I don't believe you could buy those separate. Uh, this looks like this should be a Rock Band 2 guitar. Um, keep in mind, guys, none of these guitars have their corresponding dongles, unfortunately, but... You can always get those um, online and stuff like that, and that can complete and bring the price of these things way up. Um, I picked up these Skylanders; they're only five bucks a piece. Uh, average price that I'm seeing, we're seeing, is probably about uh, anywhere between fifteen or more for these guys. So I'm gonna try these out and see what we can do with them. This Gene Simmons guitar. This is not a um, first party guitar. This is made by a third party, but still, it's pretty cool, and it wasn't super expensive. Um, and then a couple more Rock Band 1 guitars. Uh, the uh, Aerosmith, the Gene Simmons, and these two guitars here, uh, they were originally priced much higher. I think they were, uh, say, seven ninety nine for those guys, and the red one, and then the Gene Simmons, they had priced up at like $10. Um, when I let the folks at the thrift store know that the dongles were missing and that I was going to have to track those down. I asked if they would adjust the price a little bit and the, the lady offered me them for $4.99 each instead. So I think I did pretty good. The Lego set is probably going to, we're probably going to end up keeping that and we'll give that to my daughter. Um, but yeah, and then uh, for personal as well, we got this little guy here. So I didn't have this one for my set. He actually goes for about 25 bucks, so I'm kind of excited that I was able to get my hands on that. And then one other little thing, Iron Giant. I really like the movie 
So for a little pop vinyl, not too bad. So we found quite a bit of stuff. Uh, that's pretty unusual to find that many controllers and systems, but I do consistently find games um, at the places that I thrift. So the hope is that we continue to find stuff like that going forward. Um, in the meantime, if you guys can go ahead and hit like, subscribe, and comment below. Tell me what was the probably the best thing that you saw that I got in this haul. Till then, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you again.